second session of Leadership with Intention. This event is with my, one of my dearest friends, mentor, Don Miguel Ruiz of the uh, Four Agreements. Hello everyone. It's a great pleasure to be in your home with all of you. Thank you, Silva. My pleasure. I think this is a wonderful way that we are both able to present to you the Leadership Through Intention program. Following from last week's, we were talking about how to awaken your passion within and realize your dreams. You know, there's always plan B, plan C, that whatever... Um, Which plan was this? Let me think. Well, like you say, uh, it was so difficult in your home because uh, there was no electricity, but there's always solutions. And there's, uh, life presents so many different solutions and we make the choices. Then plan A, it was like always to in your home, do your seminar, give yourself the best you have. Then circumstances happen in life that you need to adapt in because life not necessarily will adapt to what you want. It will not adapt to your dream, but your dream needs to be so uh, flexible that you can adapting what uh, all the events that are happening, then right away you can have plan B, plan C, plan D, whatever is necessary for you to keep reaching your goal. You will use different intentions to see how you're going to reach your goal. That sounds perfect. Our intentions Definitely. was, is to inspire you, to empower you so you can realize and fulfill your dreams. I mean, that's one of the things that we always talk about is that I believe that we're all born perfect. I think this is something that we both share together. We're both born perfect with all the necessary tools, abilities, and to create a perfect lifestyle. I think what is important is to, number one, like we said last week, to, to be aware that we are dreaming, that we have all those dreams, and to take the actions to make the dreams come true and to have a, a beautiful uh, way of life that we really can enjoy life. Exactly. So the the point is that when we say that, you know, you have a, you're born perfect with all the necessary mm -hmm. tools and, intent, and gifts and tools and talents, I think that means that it's important for people to realize that not everyone's lifestyle needs to be the same. And I think the mistake that most people seem to do is that they seem to think that, you know, if my friend that I like and admire so much has a great easy lifestyle, why can't I do the same? I'm smarter, I'm better looking, and I have all these things going. How would you respond to somebody like that? Well, it's extremely simple. It's because what you believe. You know, the belief system that they have is the one who controls their lives, the one who controls the actions, reactions, the decisions that they make. And for, other, for the other people that they compare themselves with and they say that they have a, a wonderful and beautiful life, well, they really don't know how th their life is. It's just what they perceive. But they don't know the way they really live. They don't know how they live in, your, in their home, how they treat the family, the children, etc. They only see the surface, what they project to everybody else. What we're doing is we're, we're blending in together the seven steps to jumpstarting your life together with the philosophy of the four agreements and then the fifth agreement. Then we are doing something even more interesting. What we do is that we blend in our dreams, we agree in our dreams, and we project it everybody else that they can see. Because for since since I meet you, I see the authenticity of your life, how you live your life, that you don't pretend to be what you're not. And it's exactly the same way that I live my life. I know exactly what I like, what I don't like. And I can say exactly the same thing with you. You know what you like and you know what you don't like. And you know how to enjoy your life as I know how to enjoy my life. Then what we project is the authenticity. What we really are, not really what we want to be. Yes, we create all those goals that we want to reach, and we have the intentions why we want to reach that goal. And many times the goal is shifting, depending on the circumstance 
that happen in life, depending on the events that are happening, then we are so flexible that we can adapt to circumstances. Like I can assure you that none of us was expecting to to have that economical problems in the beautiful country, but it comes. Then our reaction is is not to be in panic, not mm. to be in fear, but to adapt to the stance and see that that crisis is really an opportunity to shift and to learn to shift, to be with the change because everything is changing again. And we do it in our own personal way, the way we are. And we yes, we see many people that they are so afraid for what is happening, they are so afraid for the future, and all this reaction that they have, well, they are adapting really. And like I will say so many times, the crisis is also the time of opportunities. Sure. Then we have the opportunity to adapt and to modify our life and to enjoy more life. Perhaps we will not be millionaires from one day to the next, but we can live comfortable. There's so many ways. There's so many plan B, plan D, plan C, all the letters. I think what's interesting during these difficult times, I think what we're encountering is that, like you mentioned before, yes, the financial crisis has hit us, and I think it has hit just about everybody. The important part is right now is that what we're talking about leadership position, you're at a point right now that you can make a change in your life, mm -hmm. and that change starts with, with you. Exactly. It starts with us. So we can either feel sorry for ourselves and wonder why this is happening and just never do anything, continue to say, oh, well, because of DP, because of so-and-so, because of my job loss and everything else like that, I cannot fulfill my dreams. And they stop right there. But what we're saying is, wait a minute, mm -hmm. this is a perfect time to alter the course of mm -hmm. your life, perhaps mm -hmm. reconnected with who you really are. But people have difficulty with that. Well, because they are, so, um, most of the reactions become so automatic that they repeat and repeat the way of life that when something, when something changes, they feel like the whole world is falling apart. And it's not exactly true. Right because we are adapting, we are changing all the time. Then it's a whole mastery, what I call the mastery of transformation. First, we have the awareness that everything is transforming. Once we have that awareness, we transform with everything as, as an action reaction. For every event, we are changing and adapting to that event and take that change to all those events instead of being victimized for all those changes. Last week, uh, a question came up about what is the difference between goals and intentions, which was an interesting question. So if we start addressing that issue as to the difference between goals and intentions, say now you're at this situation, at a crossroad in your life, and you want to make changes, and you're hearing about, oh, you have to set goals, you have to have these goals set up so you can go after the goals. Mm -hmm. And then other people are saying, fulfill your dreams in life by realizing your intentions. Okay, when So we, what is the actual mm -hmm. difference? Well, it's changing. Uh, we can see the goal in two different points of view. Okay. One is like a carrot that the donkey is following all the time and never with a goal. Mm. It is a hope. I see. It's a hope. Okay. 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 Then that kind of goal you never will reach. Mm -hmm. Because it's not even real. It's not realistic. Yeah. Okay. And the other goal is that yes, you can reach. For example, if you uh, start studying uh, for to be an engineer, first step is to involve yourself in in the school of engineering. And there's like a four or five years. You need to read all those books. Then you have a goal to reach. You may reach it or not, that depends of uh, your will, that your disposition, and that you really want the goal. Okay. Now the intention is why you want to be an engineer. Ah. What is the so reason So the goal why? is the ultimate, mm -hmm. and the intention is the reason behind you wanting this. Is it for mm -hmm. money? Mm -hmm. Is it for status? Mm -hmm. This is so, so many, is 
the intention can, can be completely different from from many people that the intention is the reason why you want that what is what you want to reach then the goal like I say it could be just based in hope but when it's based in hope it's just like the carrot for a donkey you never will get it then when the goal is not reaching hope even if you have awareness that you may never reach the goal you go for that goal and you enjoy every moment until you reach the goal for example if you want to be a medical doctor you go to medical school you know that it's like a four five six years well you don't know if you're gonna die today or tomorrow in a month you may never reach the goal but you're taking every single step that and enjoying that, the journey and that is the main point to live in the present the goal is just a direction where you want to go the intention is why you want to do that it's like in a in a romantic uh, romantic relationship um, meet a boy or the boy meet a girl and the goal is maybe to be married or to live together but intention why you want to do that you know, that's interesting because further down in the next uh, segments, we're going to be talking yeah. about defining your goals in line intentions, which is what you're doing. Exactly. So that if someone wants to realize a dream, say, for example, someone might just, their intentions are, no, that wouldn't be the intention. Their is to get married. Mm -hmm. And the intention mm -hmm. would be? Well, that depends of... Looking for security... That depends for many, let's see that you want to be married, but you don't have the meanings right now. You don't have the job, et cetera. Or, and you can see that right now, maybe it's not the right time, but in the future could be the right time. But you have to enjoy the now. Exactly. So the, the moment that, if you're sitting around and just focusing why you don't have that, mm -hmm. and you're not enjoying, you're not being present. And many times, why you push the goal away and make it so difficult for you to get it. How do they do that? How oh, do people push their goals self away? Self-rejection. I'm not good enough. Ah. How can I ever? I don't deserve you. Self-rejection. So it's that voice in the back of your head. It's knowledge. I'm not good enough. I'm not strong enough. How can I ever will make it? Yes, a goal that is impossible to reach. You know, it's, it's like I say, the the goal can be like a carrot for a dog that you never can reach it. But if you're not the donkey, then you can reach it. Because the value is not really the goal. The value is not really the goal. Is what you're doing right now to get a goal. Because you set a goal, but you don't know if you're going to reach the goal or not. It's like, a, let's see, in a, in a matrimony, they exchange rings and I promise you that I will make you happy. That's the goal. I will make you happy. But how can you promise something that is not in your hand to accomplish? Because you cannot have, make happy anybody. That person has to make herself or himself happy. And we promise and promise and promise and promise and promise. And we believe the promise. We believe and believe and believe. I know it's a little more complicated than we was believing before. But no, but no, but this is important because this is why reach uh, a, a point in their life where they go through school, they go through college, having certain beliefs in mind mm -hmm. and dreams. Mm -hmm. And then they think if once they fulfill all of those, then they'll be totally happy. Then you can see that and they reach the goal. And then all of a sudden, uh -huh. if they get married, Mm -hmm. Or they, if their dreams were to, to be traveling around the world, they do that. Or they become a doctor. Or they become, you know, having a family. Or, or they have all these things that they aspire to have. And then they reach that goal sudden, and they say, this is not what I want. What went wrong? Nothing was wrong. Everything changed. Everything changed. Even the goals. I see. So now, what's the next step? Well, living in the present time. You know, sometimes we reach the goal, we enjoy the, the goal, but at a certain point, we get tired of that goal. 
then we need to be wise enough in order to say, okay, I think I had enough of this. In that point, either you give the opportunity to, to someone else to take your place and you go for another step, like a, you kind of retire, but just to control if you want to and if you can, because perhaps your passion is no longer there. Because the passion is when you was reaching that goal, when you were giving a step by step. But can that be a little bit confusing between it is. the belief system? Because mm -hmm. really, if you really want to change your life, you want to realize your dream, we, one must have focused on first switching the gears or switching their mindset. And That's that, where everything starts from. That's exactly the reason why we were talking about plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D. That depends how life brings to us whatever is happening. Or how committed you are to the well, intention, mm -hmm. to the goal. I, I can see that you didn't have the electricity, but your goal is to do this, uh, this webinar. I thought the, that was my intention, <clears throat> but the ultimate. Uh -huh. right. okay. The intention is because you enjoy it. I you love really, it. You really enjoy giving yourself to everybody. That's your intention, do good when you do good, but your goal is to reach that point. Then in, in certain moments, it looks like, a, what are I going to do? There's no light. Now the question is, can you do it without the panic? Can, can I do it without the panic? Yes, to say, okay, if that doesn't work, this will work, plan B. If that, if that works, and then this right, one will work. Right. Which we, it did. Mm -hmm. we, yeah. we made it happen. And I can bet you every step you enjoy it. Like people have decided, all right, my new goal, now that the economy has changed, I'm out of a job, or I need to do something, I have an opportunity to change my life. One of the steps for them to start, the steps to realizing the dream lifestyle is they have to literally acknowledge mm -hmm. where they are right this minute mm -hmm. in their life. And they will find out there's not only one goal could be many different goals and they can exist at the same time. Do these goals all have to be in line Not with one another? necessarily. It could be, the answer could be yes and no. One goal can be a stone for the next goal. It can be a step stone for the next goal if that going the same direction. So that's similar to when I talk about, you know, when you, in one of my other steps we talk about stepping stones, creating a stepping stone. So you have one big picture. Mm -hmm. An ultimate goal for and your life. Kind the of. ultimate goal. And then you have the small stepping mm -hmm. stones trying to get there in your life. Yeah, and let's say that you finish college and you want to go to medical school. Then the first goal is to be admitted to medical school. Then you go to present a test, waiting for the result. If right. they tell you, yes, you're accepted or not, you're not accepted. Right. Then you're accepted, you jam, oh, I did it. Well, now you will be a student. Mm. Then in every, um, in, 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 in every topic, you will have a test. And every test will become a stepping stone to become a medical doctor. Then you, you, you uh, spend four years, and then you have to go at social. You have to go to, the, to be an intern. You become a medical doctor, but now you want to be a surgeon. Okay, now you're a doctor. So that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Then there's many goals, and this is just in one direction. But you can have goals in different directions, because you can be, let's see, engineer, but you like to play golf. As a hobby? Or as a... It's another goal. As another... Oh. You can call it hobby, but I it's another goal. Okay. And then you start practicing, or you, or you, you like to play piano. Then... You focus your intention to learn to, to play piano, and every time you, you will get better and better and better, and sometimes you will find out, okay, I don't, I don't want to be an engineer anymore. I enjoy more playing piano. And you start playing in concerts, and you change your whole career from one moment to the next. Okay. Yes, it, it, with the intention is why we want to do that. <clears throat> why we want to be an engineer? Why we want to be a medical doctor? Why, why we want to be married? Why we want to play golf? Why we want to play piano, paint? Why? What is our intention? So you have to change your mindset. So what do you need to do 
in order you can change your mindset? First of all, the first step is to to see where you are right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is what you believe right? To be aware that you are living in a creation that you create that is not real but is virtual, mm. but looks real, feels real, tastes real, and we can bet it's real, but it's not real. But it's only truth for us. It's a reality, and we call it is a dream. We are it's dream. in our head. It's in our head. Then, with the interaction with other people, we make agreements and we make it happen. And like we say last time, um, everything that really exists is because first ex exists in the human and with the action we make it real. And we're talking about everything that human create or recreate for something that exists before. It brings us to the point where we talk about, you know, if you want to change your lifestyle, you have to accept that you're the one. It's your thinking style, mm -hmm. it's your actions that has created the lifestyle that you have right now. Mm -hmm. And if your intentions are to change that, you don't like this one, you then, have to start. Mm -hmm. Then you have to go in the very beginning, see that this is just an illusion, it's a dream, it's real for you. And then you have to really go deep inside you and see what is what you really do on this. That's and, hard, you know. For most people, mm -hmm. Because they they have been listening to the sounds of mm -hmm. other people, what you like, mm -hmm. what you sh should wear, what mm -hmm. you know, how you look the best, and what style, you know, what hair color, mm -hmm. and all of that. So you have all these voices going inside of you, and now all of a sudden saying, "Trust yourself." Exactly. Be responsible for. That's everything. scary for some people. I thought I was doing the right thing until now, mm -hmm. and it seems that I wasn't. So how can I trust myself? Well, that's exactly what we are saying. Mm -hmm. First, you need to know what is what you really want, what you like, and what you don't Deep down like. inside, in exactly. your heart. And not to pretend just to try to please other people's point of view, and not just even to try to please your own point of view. Mm. Because you will find out that most of what you believe is only true because you agree. Because it's just an agreement, and it's an agreement that you repeat and repeat until you master what you believe. Then, if you take, let's see, like a 20 years to learn to be what you believe you are, you cannot expect that in a day you will change everything. Well, well, in one day you will have the awareness, yes. Because I know somebody who was who went to school, studied, mm -hmm. became a dentist, mm -hmm. and then after practicing it, decided, mm, no, I don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. And then they just stopped. Yeah. And then went to a thorough confusion because he was no longer sure what he wanted to do. He was totally confused because he grew up thinking that he wanted to be a dentist. And now he is a dentist. I don't want to do this. Well, this is exactly the point. When he becomes a dentist, it's because he be a dentist. But something it. changed and he said, wait a minute, this is not what I want. Or, or I don't want that. Mm. And of course, uh, from outside, that will lose like a moment of crisis. But for that person, is the opportunity to and to start doing what he really wants to do. The next step comes into play is mm -hmm. commit. Mm 